All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim Rakak I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? We'll go on this topic. Yes, deeming, demons exist and they are real. And we have power over them. Okay? Um, in this society, people have, uh, been taught that demons don't exist when in the scriptures, it explains that demons actually do exist. Okay. Um, this is, uh, second Corinthians four and three, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shah, who is the image of God, should shine onto them. Okay? So, this society that we're in is full of nothing but darkness. Okay? A lot of demonic um, activities okay now the word demon is an evil spirit okay and the people who have that evil spirit are the Edomites okay but that also trickles down onto the so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans okay is this scripture goes into John 8 and 44 you are of your are you are of your father the devil which the word devil means deceiver or accuser and the lust of your father you will do he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him when he speaks a lie he speaks of his own for he is a liar and the father of it and a lot of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are demons or devils because they get that way from the so-called white man. Okay? So, continuing on, like I said, demons are evil spirits, a source of or agent of evil, harm, distress, or ruin. And a lot of these... Um, uh, Negroes, okay, especially in America, you know, they're demons, man, okay? Here in Baltimore, a lot of these guys always um, killing and stuff like that, okay? They named Baltimore the most dangerous city in America, okay? And it, that's because the, the, the for it to be so few people compared to the other people, the other uh, cities, there's a lot of uh, deaths that's going on, okay? It says, an attendant power or spirit, is, and it says mythology, a supernatural being intermediate between gods and men. One that has exceptional enthusiasm, drive, or effectiveness, okay? So, continuing on. Like I said, demons are real and they exist and a lot of people, you can have that possession, that demonic possession, which is of a demon or spirit, especially an evil one, having complete power over someone and be manifested through their speech or actions. Okay? So when you see somebody to just straight up go and uh, murder somebody, for no reason in cold blood, that's a that's a demonic fucking vibration, man. And the so-called white man, the things that they did to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, when they came over here and they took this land, okay, that was a total demonic vibration that they that they had on them, man. Okay? A complete demonic spirit 
Okay? Satan was working with them. And he still is working with them. He controls them. He, he influenced them. They came over here with that demonic spirit. And they, they, they took over the Native Americans. They, they put the so-called Negroes in, into to, uh, slavery. So this is why we call the so-called white man a demon. Okay? This is Matt, Matt, I mean John 13 and 27. And after the sop, okay, which this is talking about Judas Iscariot. It says, after the sop, Satan entered into him. Satan was not standing next to him. Okay? Satan entered into him and into his mind. Okay? He got possessed. Okay? Then then said Yahweh silent to him, that thou doest, do, do quickly. Okay? Because he knew that he was possessed. No no getting through to him. Okay? And it was through through his speech and his actions that he was that he, what he had to go do. Okay, <clears throat> Matthew twelve and forty three says, "When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, when you first come into this truth, you have an unclean spirit on you." Okay, and it takes somebody else to tell you that you have an unclean spirit on you. Okay, it says, "When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walks through dry places seeking rest and finds none." Then he says, I will return into my house whence I came out. Okay? Your house, that house is your, your, your body, your mind, your, your, your spirit. And when he, he has come, he finds it empty and, and swept, I mean, swept and garnished. Then goes he and takes with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they, they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. So when you come into this truth, and you you got that unclean that that unclean spirit is gone off of you, okay. And 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 you go back into the world. That's when that 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 spirit, okay. That demon comes back with more demons, and and when you first came in, is worse than when you when you um. When so like it, the state of you when you um in this truth and you know it and you end up being a demon is worse than when you first came in. It says, even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation, unto this these people out here that know the truth, okay, and they're just straight up demons. Okay, so it's a lot of unclean spirits out here that are you know that that people have demons on them okay and the simplest thing could put a demon on you second corinthians 2 and 11 lest satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices and satan has many different ways of how he tries to tempt you okay and in order to try to be a straight up demon okay an evil spirit trying to cause harm onto someone okay or even onto yourself this is uh luke 9 and 1 then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases so the the disciples they had that 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 authority and power to 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 get over uh the devils and the demons Okay. Amos three and seven. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but He reveals His secret unto His servants, the prophets. And like I said, we have that that power to 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 get rid of those demons. Okay, we know the we know the way. Okay, and that that it's a secret that everybody doesn't have. Okay, we have we have power and authority over demons. Okay, Let's see what this word authority means. Let's 
Strong's G, 1849, Exousia. Exousia. Right, and that means power of choice, liberty of doing as one pleases, leave or permission, physical and mental power, the ability or strength with which one is endued, which he either possesses or exercises. Okay, the power of authority, influence, and of right privilege, the power of, of rule or government, the power of him whose will and commands must be submitted to by others and obeyed. Okay. Luke 10 and 17. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are sub subject unto us through your name. So them demons that people have, we able to, 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 to have them in subjection. Okay? And he said unto them, Be I beheld Satan is lightning fall from heaven. Okay, when you see the Israelites going out there on the highway and hedges, okay, that's the righteous going up against the demons, man. Okay. Now you have some some guys that may be out there on the highway and hedges, you know, especially in Great Millstone, you know, like uh uh, Judas Iscariot was what was was one of the twelve, and he had power over the demons and stuff like that. Okay, but then he he ended up turning on, on the Lord. Okay, but the the men of the Lord, when they go out and they go teach, they have power over over them demons. Okay, because this is a spiritual battle. Okay says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread, tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So we believe and we, we have faith that the Lord is dealing with us. Okay? Through these demons. And demons will come fucking with you in your sleep. A demon... Has many Satan don't don't take coffee breaks as Apostle Gabar says, okay. Satan don't don't stop, okay. Scripture says we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. Job himself saw saw demons, okay. A man of the Lord is going to see demons, okay. You're going to deal with demons in this truth, and and when when the scriptures say. Uh, the definition of, of, of authority that we have the right to to, to either remove or, or, or put a demon on somebody. That's why I got the this scripture. Okay. Psalms 109 and 2. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They compass me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. And that's what a lot of people out here, they like going up against the men of the Lord for teaching the truth, right? It says, for my love, they are my adversaries, but I give myself onto prayer. And we, we, we're able to put up curses on people, you know? We able to we're, we're, the men of the Lord are able to put up curses on people. Okay? And they have rewarded me evil for good for, for telling you the truth and hatred for my love. The truth of the Bible. Set thou a wicked man over him and let Satan stand at his right hand. For all you people who, who go up against us, you know we put curses up on you and pray that the Lord put put bring evil onto you. Okay? Why? Because we have that authority. Okay? Whether it be bad or for, for good. Okay? This is uh Luke eight and twenty seven. And when he had went and when he went forth to land, there met him out of the city a certain man which had devils long time. This man had a lot of demons on him. It says, and wear, wear no clothes, 
neither abode in, no, in any house, but in tombs. When he saw Yahweh Shai, he cried out and fell down before him, and with a loud voice said, What have I to do with you, Yahweh Shai, thou son of God, most high? I beseech you, torment me not. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man, for oftentimes it had caught him, and he was kept bound with chains and, and in feathers, and he brake the bands and was driven of the devil into the wilderness. So this man had devils on him, okay, to the point where that demon that he that was on him was able to break the chains and stuff that he had on him. And Yahweh Sai asked him, saying, What is your name? And he said, Legion, because many devils were entered into him. So this man had a lot of demons on him, okay? And they besought him that he went, would not command them to go out into the deep. And there was there a herd of many swine feeding on the mountain. And they besought him that he would suffer them to enter into them, and he suffered them. Then went the devils out of the man and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the lake and were choked. So this man had a lot of demons on him. And a lot of people out here in America have a lot of demons on them. Okay? And it's built by design. Okay? It's like that for a reason. The men of the Lord have power over these demons. Okay? Whether it be good or, 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 or for bad, okay, to you people who, who like to come up against us, you know, you carnal-minded people who, who um, follow whatever the so-called white man say, you know, y'all path that you're going on is not going to last that long, okay, because, hey, the good is going to outweigh the bad, man, okay, so with that, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to say shalom until next time.